Oh, smooth. The view outside your window will be changing, and we're not just talking about the colors of the leaves. Now that fall is in the air, different species of birds are appearing. Barb Brebner, our bird expert, is here to tell us more about what you're likely to see. Hi, Barb. Good morning. So what are we seeing yeah, at this time of year? You were talking about the Orioles and the hummingbirds really kind of fattening them up, really, at this time of the year. What else, what else are we seeing? Well, what goes north must come south. So start thinking about... The, the birds that, that have been up further north, above 50 degrees latitude, that'll be coming south again. And many of them are starting, many of them have started their migration. Rose-breasted grosbeaks, if they were at your feeder in spring, they're gonna be back at your feeders in the fall as they come through. Mm -hmm. And they're beautiful. They're always fun to see on their way here, on their way there. They're gorgeous. Um, indigo buntings will be coming back through. And they're gorgeous. It's, a, it's your second shot to see them. We don't get the numbers on the return, the southward migration that we get in groups going north. But there's still, it's a nice fun treat to suddenly see a big splash of color out there coming through. And there's a lot of waterfall that'll be coming through too. You know, a lot of people take trips down to Horicon to see the different birds that are coming through. Bay Beach Wildlife Sanctuary. There's a lot of places you can go to see all of the beautiful migrating waterfall as well. Are you looking at uh, it's doing different things for those birds that come to the north, from the north, I should say? Um, just keep the feeders, feeders full. Time? Yeah, just keep them full. Yeah, keep the feeders full so they don't have to look too hard and, and, and work too hard to find food. They're counting on those spots. They, they mark those. They have memory markers that they remember where those feeders were on their way north. And so on the way south, they remember they'll take the same routes and they'll be back. If, if you only saw a rose-breasted grosbeak one time in the spring, good chance you'll get another shot at it on their way south. And, and, and all of the interesting sparrows, people kind of think sparrows are boring, mm -hmm. but there's American tree sparrows, there's chipping sparrows, kind of look under the feeder in the grass and in the, the leaf chaff under your feeders because there'll be some unusual and interesting, the white-crowned sparrows, white-throated sparrows, interesting pretty birds that are Oh, it looks brown, but then you look again, and there's white, white stripes on the head, oh. white on the throat. Yeah, they're very different and interesting. Barbara, uh, a yeah. lot of folks know who you are and know where you are and stuff, but uh, you're right outside your store. Tell us where, where you are, how uh, people can go and, and get some great stuff at your store. Sure. We're right here in, on the north end of De Pere, near the Bike Hub and the De Pere Dairy Queen, across the street by the Abbey Pond, and that's a great place. The Abbey Pond is another great place to watch migrating waterfowl too. And we're here on the north end and you look for the little rusted roof on the building and that kind of helps you see it because right now we are covered with wildflowers. Yeah. We did a natural prairie planting here and it's, the building's kind of hidden but it's, it's fun to be tucked in all the flowers where the birds are eating. And we're having a sidewalk sale this week so we're moving oh. a lot of stuff. And right there outside the store? Right, right outside the store? Yeah. Then? Okay, good. Yep. Thanks Barb, you have great. a great day.